Welcome back, another Genshin Impact video. <laughs> Almost caught myself over there. And uh, yeah, today we're going to check out something uh, pretty interesting, I thought. Um, which is posted by the Reddit user, uh, Raiden Aimiko. So shout out to them. Really, really nice graph. Uh, I love graph people, honestly. <laughs> so anyways, which is about the uh, sales for Raiden and Kokomi. So uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, open this up a bit more. So it's, I guess, a bit... Uh, Easier to see. You could zoom in a bit, maybe. How's that? That's probably a bit better. So, um, this is the Genshin iOS revenue for the Chinese market specifically, right? So that's what we're looking at. So it's not like overall, not like total. It's just specifically iOS revenue uh, on the Chinese market, right? So, uh, which is all right. We don't really have to see like the whole picture. You know, just a this is a decent enough sample size, right? Um, so, anyways. Looking at this, uh, we can maybe infer, you know, again, um, to some other uh, potential uh, statistics, right, in terms of the, you know, overall sales and stuff. So, this is day two of the Kokomi and Raiden rerun banner, and look at where they are at. Oh my god. For rerun banner, um, they're up at number three all time at what, seven, I think that's seven million. 7.5 million USC, which is a lot of money. Oh my god. Um, and that's kind of interesting because of the fact that in this banner, right, you have, well, two banners. You have the Shogun and Kokomi. Red and Shogun being the number one highest of all time, you know, grossing Genshin banner, right, by you know, day two. Right? I mean, I think it's, it's highest overall, right? And then Kokomi, on the other hand, is one of the lowest of all time, right above Kutin, which honestly we don't, we can't even really count Kutin because I mean Kutin's nothing against Kutin. She's just a regular banner unit that everyone, um, well, I wouldn't say everyone has, but you know, a lot of people have either on accident just because they lost a 50-50, or uh, you know, a, or not on accident they were trying to go for it, or but you know, um, she's a regular banner unit. Don't really count her, but. So outside of that, right, cutting aside, she's basically the, she was the lowest selling unit of all time in Genshin. Lowest selling unit of all time in Genshin. And that's crazy because that, you're lower than the Tartaglia rerun, the second Tartaglia rerun. <laughs> and like, that's just very, very low because of the fact that I thought um, when Kokomi first came out, a lot of people just straight up thought the unit was not good, which, um, also is very very interesting to see the fact that uh, now she uh, she is up here all by you know paired up with Raiden which is the number one highest grossing banner but uh, I do notice a lot of people actually trying to go for her this time that didn't go for her initially right so I think uh, it could be a bit of you know people realizing wow um Kokomi actually really decent now right uh, in comparison to when she first uh, came out, right, which uh, wasn't uh, was was wasn't the best received. Let's just put it at that. Like people, just, again, I thought it was stupid at the time. I still think it's stupid now. Like people just freaked out. Oh my god, no crit. Okay, so she's a support. She could do a lot of other things. And plus, there's, there's other ways to scale your damage if you really want to run her as DPS. Like, like uh, that was just unreasonable i thought at the time uh but afterwards we did get a lot of uh really nice artifact sets right like the tenacity set or the clam set that could actually work very very well with her so it's not just the you know initial in my opinion not very great reaction um but also she also wasn't the craziest either at the time not not saying that she was fantastic when she first came out i'm just saying that particular criticism of her was not that great there are definitely still issues with her when she first came out right just like being a utility she didn't offer like that much overall right uh but now it seems like people do uh realize that she's actually pretty solid as a, as a utility unit um and and again raiden carrying probably carrying a blunt blunt of that sales being she was the number one you know all time and uh that's really really interesting because um because this is two banners total. Because usually, when they mix rerun two banners uh, at the same time, those usually get a lot of really good sales. Look at Zhongli Ganyu over here, right? Um, because, like, the first uh, Zhongli banner was like, whatever, right? Because big controversy, he sucked, etc., etc. And after they buffed him, got much, much better. Well, I wouldn't say much, much better numbers, but a bit better numbers. 
Uh, and uh, it, yeah, when you combine these banners and rerun them, like these got really, really good numbers overall, right? Like even Albedo and Eula, which uh, all, both Albedo and Eula were around the same place where they were. I mean, you would say the you combine the numbers thrown up, the, but obviously that's not how it works, right? But um, yeah, uh, the really interesting one is like Venti, the Venti rerun being like so much more than the initial, almost like twice as much as the initial banner, right? And that's crazy because Venti was literally the first banner that came out in Genshin, you know, when the big Genshin hype was happening, everyone was playing Genshin, all that stuff. And uh, it's just a nice sign to see how, uh, how well, uh, you know, it's holding up, right? So yeah, um, it is pretty interesting and uh, also slightly interesting how they basically combine the highest grossing banner unit with uh, the lowest grossing like new banner unit, right? Like non cutscene banner unit and threw them in, in there together and uh, they are getting some pretty solid results out of that, I, I'd say, right? So, and obviously Raiden Shogun's very, very good. Everyone knows that. Uh, I highly suggest people pull for her if you haven't, right? Um, she's obviously very good. And especially, especially the fact that uh, unlike, for example, you know, something like a Zhongli, right? Zhongli, you know, he's nice, but like his constellations aren't like super crazy until you get like very, very high. But like Raiden Shogun's like first two constellations are both really, really decent. So I would imagine a lot of people are pulling for her constellations too, like me. Uh, <laughs> which by the way, if we do get 900 subs on the channel before uh, the banner goes away, I will pull for C2. I will wail for C2. <laughs> that's, uh, we'll, we'll do that. I think we're at 770 something right now. But anyways, yeah, that's that's all I just wanted to point out. Um, just very, very interesting numbers again over here. So uh, yeah, shout out to uh, the Reddit user, Raiden Aimiko. So uh, really, really good stuff here. Love the uh, work and uh, visual charts. And um, yeah, gonna be interesting. Gonna be interesting to see where uh the next venti reruns gonna be at for one right and uh and, and you know once the banners end where they end at right so yeah anyways that's me this one hope you all enjoyed guys think of the comments down below like this video for my channel for some more content i'll see you guys in the next one then